Hello and welcome to Miss Ma's Grade 10 Math Class. This is Getting Started, the Chapter 1 Review. So, uh, Chapter 1 was all about solving systems of equations, and there were three methods to do that. There's substitution, elimination, and graphing. So, substitution is the one we're going to talk about first, and we're going to solve this word problem together. So, the sum of two numbers is 377, and their difference is 107. Find the numbers. Now, if you find that this is a little bit too easy, maybe you want to pause the video and go ahead and solve this using substitution and elimination and graphing. Uh, and then come back and double check your work and see whether or not you have exactly the same writing as I do because I'm going to try to show you exactly what kind of form I want so where I would take off marks and things like that and you can mark yourself as you go along so go ahead and pause the video and do the question if you like or you can follow along with me okay so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to um, define my variables the sum of two numbers so let x be the first number and y will be our second number. You could use other variables if you want, but I'm just going to use x and y. And we're going to now write our equation. So the sum is 377. x plus y is equal to 377. And the difference is 107. x minus y is equal to 107. And then next I'm going to label these. And by the way, this is substitution, so I'm just going to write substitution here. In case people aren't watching the video, you can always go to the filled in notes and read them instead if you like, and you don't have to watch the video if you think it's a little bit too easy for you or whatever. It's really up to you how you want to use the video. So x plus y is equal to 377, x minus y is equal to 107. So we're going to do substitution, which means we're going to isolate one of the variables and then substitute into the other one. So let's take the first one and we'll just substitute. So uh, x plus y is equal to 377. So let's do y is equal to 377 minus x. It doesn't matter which one you choose. You can use either one. And then I'm going to say I'll substitute y equals 377 minus x into the second equation like this. So into 2. And we're going to do that. So uh, you have to write the equation here. So x minus y is equal to 107. You do have to write it again. And then we'll substitute it in. So x minus, and where we see the y here, um, we're going to put 377 minus x. So minus 377 minus x. And we should put brackets around that like that. Otherwise, we're going to get the wrong answer. So this ends up being x minus 377 plus x. This is the distributive property. We have to put the negative in both. So we'll get 2x, and we're going to move that 377 over. Um, so 107 plus 377 is 484. And so we get x is equal to 242, like that. So now I've got my first variable. I do need to get the second one as well. So I'm going to substitute again. So I'll say sub x equals 242 into uh, this, this thing right here. Maybe I'll call that 3, so it's really easy to talk about like that. So y is equal to 377 minus x. Again, we're rewriting it so that uh, everyone knows what's going on. Don't just jump right in and write it like this. You have to have proper form. I will be taking off marks. So 377 minus 242 is 135. And there we have our answer. So because this is a word problem, we do want to write a word solution. You can see I just put a box around my answers to keep it clean so that I can tell what happened. And it makes you kind of feel good, right? Like it's like a little victory dance. So the two numbers are 242 and 135. Ta-da! Okay, so now we're going to do it with elimination. We're going to do exactly the same question. So again, if you want to pause the video and try it and then see if you get the exact same writing as I do, because I will be taking off marks again for bad form, um, then you can go ahead and do that. But I'm going to go and do this. So again, we're going to let x be the first number. Oops, first. <laughs> That's a good one. Number and y be the second, and I'm going to write my two um, equations out, so this part is exactly the same, and I should get the exact same answer as well. So 
this one is going to be my 1, and this is going to be 2. So in order to do elimination, I am going to try to eliminate one of these variables. And you can see that they have the same coefficients, so I could do either one. So what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to add them together, because y plus negative y is going to be 0, so I just want to make one of them 0. And you can subtract it as well. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's up to you. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So um, again, I should write the things out and, t and say exactly what I'm going to do. So 1 plus 2, that's the operation that I'm doing, so you should write that part. And if you don't write that part, I will take off marks. x plus y equals 377, x minus y equals 107. And then we can just add it. 2x equals 484. I was jumping ahead of myself. So x is equal to 242. <coughs> my solution. And then again, I'm going to substitute it in. So sub x equals 242 into, it doesn't matter which one, 1 or 2, I'll just do 1. So x plus y is equal to 377. 242 plus y is equal to 377. You can see again, I'm rewriting everything out. y equals 135. And then I'll write my answer. So the numbers are 242 and 135, like that. Okay, so um, let's do it in our last method. This is graphing now, and you can see I already graphed it because actually the numbers are really big. Um, so we had the we had the two equations, x plus y equals 377, and x minus y equals 107, and you should define the variables again. Um, and then I'm going to just isolate, so it's easiest to put in a uh, slope-intercept form. So this one turns into y equals negative x plus 377. And this one turns into negative y equals negative x plus 107. So it's y equals uh, x minus 107. Okay, so those are the two things that I've graphed here. So this is 107. You should label your uh, y-intercepts. And this one was 377. And this graph, this line here is y equals negative x plus 377. And this one is y equals x minus 107. And then you should label your point of intersection 242, 135, like that. Okay? Okay, so let's just do one more. So this one is um, finding the point of intersection. So POI stands for point of intersection of these two lines, x plus 2y minus 6 equals 0, and 4y equals negative 2x minus 3. So I'm going to use elimination because I like elimination best, um, although you could use you could use anything that you want. So x plus 2y minus 6 is equal to 0, like that, so that's going to be my first one. And my second one, I'm going to move everything over so that it has the same format. So it's going to be 2x plus 4y plus 3 is equal to 0, like that. So you can see that um, these don't have the same coefficients here. My x's don't and my y's don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply the first one by 2 and then subtract. So in the first one, I'm going to do 2 times 1 minus the second equation. So I'll get uh, 2x plus 4y is equal, oh sorry, minus 12 is equal to 0 and 2x plus 4y plus 3 is equal to 0. And when I subtract it, I have to subtract everything. So 2x minus 2x is 0. 4y minus 4y also 0. Negative 12 minus 3, that's negative 15. 0 minus 0, 0. So you can see that I get a weird solution because I get like negative 15 is 0, which is obviously not true. And so this tells you that the lines are actually parallel, which, you know, you might have noticed that the slopes are the same. And so um, you knew that this was going to happen. But this is another way that we can tell if we're using elimination or substitution. We'll get a number is equal to 0. And so that means they are parallel lines, parallel lines. And there's no POI, right? It looks like, like two lines going like that. Um, the other things that could happen are we could get uh, one point of intersection. So we get x is equal to a number and y is equal to a number, just like with example A. And then we could get uh, all points of intersection. So basically, the lines are what we call coincident. 
as in they're exactly the same line, right? Like um, y equals 2x plus 1 and 2y equals 4x plus 2. You can see this is exactly the same line, right? If I just divide by 2, I get exactly the same uh, equation. So that those are coincident, meaning that they are on top of each other. So they have infinite points of intersection, infinite POI like that. And so that would look like 0 is equal to 0, which is true always. So that's why the lines are coincident because they're always they're always true, right? They're always equal. So those are the three methods that we um, can use. We could use elimination, substitution, or graphing. And uh, if we were graphing, it looks like this parallel lines, number is equal to 0. Um, we could get something like this with one point of intersection so that um, you know, we get an actual point, or we can get that the lines are coincident and we have infinite POI, so we have one line and then we'd have the second line right on top of it, okay, covering it up. So that's infinite and we get zero equals zero. And so that is it. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in class. Thanks for watching.